going on everybody today we're going to re uh, replace the screen the front camera assembly and the battery in a destroyed iPhone 6 plus as you can see here we've got bad LCD damage so there's no way we're going to be able to salvage that screen um, you start at the bottom with two pentalobe screws screw unscrew those and put them on your mat the 6 plus is not water resistant so there's no adhesive uh, I usually just stick a flat blade in the bottom of the screen and pop it up just enough to get a spudger in there and, and again, with no water resistance, you don't even need to put the spudger in. You can just kind of work the, the teeth out. You're going to have uh, two screws here for the battery connector. Unscrew those and pop that battery connector off. Always disconnect your battery. Um, I see a lot of videos that skip this step, and I harp on this step. Always make sure you disconnect your battery. Five screws up top for the LCD connection. You're going to have uh, two along the right side and three along the left. The top right screw is going to be longer than the other, so make sure that these screws all go back in the holes they came from. There's a lot more work to be done on this screen other than just uh, your typical screen repair. Uh, the battery was swollen and uh, just wore, wore out pretty much in, in this phone. Uh, definitely has to be replaced, and the front camera assembly was, was broken as well. Usually I like to recycle my screens whenever possible, but when there's LCD damage, it's, there's just no recycling them. All right, so you got your screen off. Whenever I'm doing a repair, I always start with the screen first. Uh, just force a habit, I guess. Nothing more to it than that. You got three screws right up here at the top for your ear speaker, your front camera, and proximity sensor assembly. Like I said before, this, uh, this front camera assembly is damaged, so we're going to replace that. Un <clears throat> unfasten those screws, pull that front camera out. As you can see right there, the microphone is completely ripped off the front camera assembly, so that's trash. A new front camera assembly will run you somewhere between 5 or $10 if you were doing it yourself. got three screws along the right side, three screws along the left. Uh, this particular screen was missing a couple of screws. Um, if you are missing screws, it's not the end of the world. You don't want to be, and ideally you don't want to be missing screws, but uh, some sometimes phones come in, they've been worked on a million times and it's missing some screws. So you just have to strategically place uh, the screws that you do have left if you don't have screws to replace them with so that your your screen is nice and sturdy. So we got our replacement screen here. Put your home button on there first. That's always what I do first. It doesn't have to be first, but you know, it's e I find it easiest to do that first. This bracket here, uh, hold your home button in place and provide something for your, uh, your home button spring to to bounce off of so that you get your that, the clicky feeling that you're used to when you press your home button. Two screws down at the bottom. These are Phillips screws by the way. The iPhone 6 Plus only uses Penelope screws for the bottom and everything else is Phillips screws. This blue pla uh, piece of plastic film here basically uncovers a patch of adhesive for your front camera to stick to. The microphone assembly, as you see right there, sticks down on that adhesive and it allows you to fold your proximity sensor and ear speaker and stuff like that into place. Your ear speaker goes over top of the proximity sensor and then the front camera folds over top of the <coughs> front camera, or excuse me, the ear speaker. Those Make sure those contact points line up and that your screw holes line up. That way everything is, is done properly. That way your front camera will work. You'll be able to hear through your ear speaker and your phone will go dark when you hold it to your face. That's what your proximity sensor does. Third and final screw here for the rebuilt screen. So now your front camera and your screen are rebuilt. Now we're going to take the battery out. Now this is my least favorite repair to do on any any iPhone. These pull tabs always give me a hard time. Pull tab breaks there. That's 
par for the course. <laughs> uh, I'm about 50-50 whether or not I can get these pull tabs out without breaking them. It's kind of a running joke in my shop about me and these pull tabs. Just always break them. You do want to be very careful when handling these batteries. They are flammable. You don't want to puncture them. You don't want to bend them. You don't want to break them. One thing you can do if you do break your pull tabs, this is 99% rubbing alcohol. Um, the alcohol helps to loosen the adhesive from the battery. You do want to use 99% alcohol. You don't want to use anything less because the water that waters down the other alcohol um, can, can damage your phone. Now, this disclaimer here, I don't recommend to anyone that they pry their battery out um, I've done it, but I'm not going to recommend anyone else doing it. I have puncture a battery. I've seen a battery catch on fire. Um, sometimes that's the only way for me to get it out, but I don't, again, do not recommend prying that battery out. Um, this particular battery, I pried up just enough to grab those pull tabs um, so that I could get them out of there. They are a little more elastic when, they, when they're wet with alcohol, but again, make sure it's 99% alcohol. 91% alcohol or 78% alcohol has water in it and you can damage your phone's components with, with, with those kind of alcohol. Again, do not try this at home. This is very dangerous. I had a lot of bad luck with these pull tabs in this phone. They kept breaking on me. And this is not the best technique. A lot of techs will call you crazy trying to pull the battery out like this, you know. I have punctured my fair share of batteries over the years. And the, the gas smells toxic. The battery is flammable. You just don't want to do it this way. I'm just very impatient and I sometimes break the rules. Let that final pull tab out. This battery will come out and can be replaced. There are much better ways, if you're patient, not like me, to get this battery out. But I'm impatient. And sometimes I, I do things that aren't the smartest. <laughs> now, right here, I'm just wiping away the leftover alcohol, making sure it's dry. It's not going to hurt your phone, but you don't want to put a, a battery on top of wet housing. I use... Uh, two millimeter double-sided tape to hold the battery in place. Some of the replacement batteries will come with their own pull tabs. Those are pretty convenient. If they don't, you can use two millimeter double-sided tape that's specifically designed for this type of project. Um, do not use scotch tape or masking tape. That stuff is not designed to sit, have a battery sit on top of it. Place my battery here. I connect the battery first to see how it's going to line up with the connector. Pop the battery in place and then unplug your connector again. Please make sure that you unplug your connector again before you start plugging your screen in. Four connections here for the iPhone 6 Plus, followed by the LCD bracket cover and five Phillips screws.
Remember the top right screw is the long screw. Do not put this in the wrong hole. You will destroy your phone by putting the wrong screw in the wrong hole, especially if it's that top right screw. Apple usually uses the long screw in the top right hole, but some of the uh, newer phones, um, the screw, uh, the screws kind of went in different places. They changed it up a little bit, always keeping you on your toes. Battery connector is the last thing to go in. Two screws here. The, the two screws here are different sizes as well. The smaller size uh, screw will go closer to the housing with the longer screw going closer to the battery. Make sure these also go in their proper place. Line up your teeth at the top. Line up your teeth along the side of the housing. Once you get your uh, screen popped into place, you can power it on and test it. Put your two pentalobe screws back in the bottom and that will hold your screen in place. And that's all there is to an iPhone 6 Plus rebuild. Uh, again, we replaced the battery, the front camera, and the screen. And one last disclaimer, again, I don't recommend using this technique for your changing your battery. What I do is not recommended for anyone else to do. I don't recommend that you go about it this way. Uh, but I'm also not going to hide from how I've done specific things. Here you see the, the, the bad front camera assembly. The microphone had been ripped off of it. If you guys like the video, please uh, like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so you get notifi notified whenever uh, I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching.